If you were a child who was gaslit, you may not understand that up is really up and down is really down. Exactly. That, that really is a confusion. It's a false platform. Right. And then as an adult, mm -hmm. if you're in one of those situations, you are being called to action for what do you know to be true? Mm -hmm. And now how do you navigate? Appropriate boundaries, discernment, being able to make healthy choices, choosing yourself first, loving, loving others from the overflow of the love that you have for mm -hmm. yourself, not rescuing people. That's sort of the, the magnetic pull of the narcissist and the, the empath. What do they both have to learn if you're going to caps put it in a capsule? Yeah, so the narcissist is actually learning about emotions and learning how to become sensitive because the actual, if you were to take it apart and look where, what was going on in that narcissist's early life, there was a sensitivity there that was denied right. or it was beat the crap out of them, Right. right? So right. they didn't, it was misunderstood and, mm -hmm. and ill-directed and so they had to form their own sense of self in whatever way they could. Right. And oftentimes, they're the ones that were the bullies in the classes. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that sought to overpower another because they were so underpowered in their life at home or in another mm -hmm. facet of their life that they needed to figure out, well, I, I need to have some power structure here. And hurt people hurt people. They will, that's not permission, but yeah. that, that is what will happen. It's just this trickle down effect. Mm -hmm. And in this sea pinch, now we're in the choice. I am not choosing to do what has been done to me. Right. I am not gonna continue Break on this cycle. karmic journey. I've got my own dharma to live. What is it? That's the biggest question that we get to ask ourselves. Exactly. You just talked about what the narcissist has to learn and some of the underpinnings of narcissism yeah. from childhood. Let's talk about what the empaths have to learn. So the empaths are all known, they're, they know that they're sensitive. They're feeling everything. And they may have not come up like adult ch children of alcoholics, right? Mm -hmm. ACA type people. They had to learn how do I navigate in this environment that feels very unsafe right now. So you're not just reading how you feel, you're reading, is it safe to come out of my room? Right. Is it safe to come out of the closet? Can I put this book down? Should I, is, should I go in the house? All of these things are coming up for them reading the tea leaves of, is it safe? Mm -hmm. So that's sort of this turned on sensitivity. And there's the, the kind, it's interesting. And they're also often pleasers as a result. Rescuers and pleasers. You want everybody pleasers. to be happy. You can't take the stress. Rescuers and pleasers, absolutely. And anxiety oftentimes is born out of that because there's a anxiety that can show itself as like an absorption of everybody's emotions and or it can come out of control. So you can actually have this sort of, this, it's a two-edged sword mm -hmm. because I know many empaths that are staying in those relationships because it's where they feel they have a job and value. They're staying, the empaths are staying in, rela in unhealthy relationships mm -hmm. because there's a sense of, I'm doing good here. Right, I can help. I can help. Right. And that's all they ever wanted to do. Right. But because they were so misunderstood in other relationships or in their childhood, this was a way that they got to have a freedom of expression. Right. But most of them are denying who they really are.